Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at three new features introduced in the latest version of Lightroom Mobile. If you're keeping track of the uh, version numbers, it would be 1.3 on your iOS devices. And uh, hopefully these features will soon make their way into the Android version as well. But for now, let's take a look at what they are and then uh, we'll see how to take advantage of them uh, feature by feature. First one, and this is kind of important to me because when Lightroom Mobile was introduced, I saw it immediately as a benefit for me for showing people my photos via my portfolio. My portfolios in Lightroom are collections, and since I can now sync those collections with Creative Cloud, I have collections for each of my portfolios. The problem though, if I wanted to hand my portfolio to someone, let's say my uh, iPhone photography portfolio, well, if I tap on the first picture to get them started, as you can see, the, the rest of the Lightroom interface is there. So if they accidentally were to swipe up or swipe down, they could change a star rating, they could change a pick flag. Uh, if they were to accidentally tap on the develop features, then they start developing the photos. And these are things I just don't want people to do by accident because a lot of this is gesture based. So now you can go into the upper right hand menu and you can say present from here. Now there's always been a slideshow feature, but now the presentation feature, and if we tap one more time, gives me the ability to have them go through the photos and swiping up and down doesn't do anything. No other gestures other than left and right to change photos does anything. So I don't have to worry about them accidentally changing any settings while they're looking at my photos. So I can say, here you go, here's my iPad, here's my iPhone. Uh, take a look at the photos in my um, portfolio, um, love them, look at them, hate them, whatever you want to do, but I don't have to worry about them changing them, and that's the main thing. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, while we're in this particular portfolio, uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap exit presentation mode, so now I'm back to regular Lightroom, I can do whatever I want. Uh, at this point, I can also change the way this is being viewed. If I go back, we have a new view. Uh, this was the one you're looking at now. It's the traditional view that's been there since day one. And now we have, then that's called a flat view. And now we have the segmented view. This is for people that maybe you went on vacation, maybe you did a trip, maybe you're looking at a portfolio. These were all shot at different times, different days. If you go into segmented view, it will do it by date. And of course, from there, you can still go in and you can say not only by date, but show me all the ones that have pick flags by date. So segmented view for people that like things by date or organized by segments of when they were taking these photos, segment view is there. And I particularly like flat view, so that's not a, a big new feature for me, but I know a lot of people like by date and you'll be uh, ecstatic to have that. Now for the next one, I'm actually gonna head over to the iPad since the iPad's a little bit bigger um, and we can work on that, uh, this next new feature here. So I'm gonna go into my Montana gallery Montana scenery and I'm gonna say just show me my pics so I got the same thing segmented or flat I just want to see my pic photos and now this is one that um, actually comes over another feature that comes over from Lightroom desktop and there's a hidden benefit to it so first let me show what the feature is uh, for example let's say I go into this photo and let's say that I adjust it I go in and I say uh, yes I want to update the process version which that's an old photo, so it hadn't happened yet. And I want to go in and I want to say, um, I want to increase the, the vibrance is already pretty high, but let's say I also want to increase the saturation. So I want to go to the saturation, I want to crank up the saturation a little bit more. All right, so now we've done those adjustments and you can do any other adjustments you want. But when I go back, I now have the ability, if I hold down my finger on that photo, Actually, let's go into the photo first. If I hold on my finger while I'm in the photo, there's a new copy settings um, feature, which is, is, again, just like from Lightroom Desktop. I can say copy the settings, and it even lets me pick what settings I want to copy. So it defaults to select all, meaning it'll select everything you've done to this photo. I want to deselect all, and I just want to um, do the color treatment, just the things I did, and you can even narrow it down. If you, if you don't want the color adjustments, for example, you could turn that off. Um, and then you'll just have saturation and vibrance. So I'm gonna tap OK. So now I've copied all the saturation, vibrance settings I've done. I could do white balance, I could do anything else. And then I can go to the next photo and I can say, hold it down, hold my finger down. 
and paste settings. And it will paste that exact same vibrance and saturation setting to the next photo. So I can just keep going through, paste, 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 till I've got them all set. Now, that's what you would expect to happen from the copy-paste from Lightroom on the desktop. But there's a hidden benefit to this. There are things you can do on the desktop version of Lightroom that you can't yet do in the mobile version, like local adjustments, graduated filters, radio filter, uh, the adjustment brush, all kinds of things you can do in Lightroom on the desktop that you can't necessarily do in Lightroom Mobile. But those things are still showing in Lightroom Mobile. They're still there. You just can't, you don't have the tools to make adjustments to them. So for example, uh, if we go through this particular photo has a graduated filter at the top. We're looking at the sky that's been, uh, that has a graduated adjustment to it. So I'm going to hold my finger down on it and I'm going to say copy settings. And again, I'm going to say um, that we don't want the color treatment necessarily, but we do want local adjustments. So I'm going to go to local adjustments and I just want the graduated filter. Tap OK. Go to the previous photo. I think that's, yeah, that's the one I want. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hold my finger down and say paste settings and I get the same graduated filter, even though Lightroom Mobile doesn't have the graduated filter tool. So if I've made adjustments, vignettes, anything I've done in the desktop, um, I can just go ahead and paste those settings to other photos. And this is great if you're maybe using specific adjustments or specific uh, sets of adjustments that you do on photos that you store in a collection that you want to apply to new photos that you're taking as you're taking them. Lens corrections, things that you're doing, maybe you're shooting with a GoPro camera or some other fisheye lens. And again, you don't have lens corrections here in mobile, but if you corrected at least one photo in a collection, you can then copy those settings and paste them to new photos you add to those collections. So that's a quick look at the three new things in Lightroom Mobile. Uh, check them out. If you're a Creative Cloud member, you automatically have access to Lightroom Mobile and you should be enjoying these features. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.